So adding in a texture to your pre-made designs is a great way to make your product stand out from the rest of the items you might find on the Etsy marketplace. However, finding different ways to create this can be difficult if you don't have the resource to make this as simple as possible. Well, with utilizing Kittle, they have a one-click feature where you are able to add in this texture to your designs to really have that distorted look and really make your product stand out from the rest. I'm gonna teach you how to utilize this for your print on demand business and make your product stand out even more. I'm sure it's all with you coming up next. So go back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, our main resource that we're going to take a look at today is Kittle. Kittle is a great space for you to create your print on demand designs as they have a large community of graphic designers that you can use their pre-made designs and change those things up to really make it your own. If you want to check out Kittle on your own, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below, along with a discount code for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. So when you search on Etsy, you will find there are a ton of these mama shirts or these baseball mom type t-shirts that are going to do extremely well this time of the season. But then you would notice there are some shirts like this one here that really has the design of the shirt with that distorted texture in the back that really makes that stand out from the rest of the products that we see here. Here is another example of that, how you can just zoom in a little bit and see how there is just this small little texture behind Behind the text that really makes this look distorted make this stand out a little bit more and this is one of the styles that are doing extremely well right now same thing we see here again softball mom all these things are going to do great this time of the year so we definitely want to jump on this but with these designs we definitely want to add this texture to it to make our designs a little bit different from the rest of the market in regards to selling mom type t-shirts so let's jump into kid i'm share with you how to actually Put these textured designs on your product, how to actually wrap the texture around your designs to make these things look distorted and stand out even more. So here we are in Kiddo, and this is a great place just not to add these, you know, distorted textures to your designs, but to really find a place where you can really create or remix some of these designs to make them your own. I am a huge fan of not starting from scratch, but utilizing some of these things to really bring out my own inspiration to create a design that is really working in the marketplace. And again, as you can see here, they have a ton of pre-made designs you can use. But again, one of the things I like to do is gain some inspiration and then take some things and to really make it my own and you can go up here and actually search up a particular style you want to focus on in our case today it is a retro shirt so i can put in retro here and then you will see some things come up that are in the community of designers that they have made and so again this is flooded with a ton of designs that designers have made print on demand sellers have made and again the goal here is to take these things to gain some inspiration and then remix them to make them your own so in our case today we are going to go ahead and start a new project because we actually gathered a pre-made design from another website that we're going to use right now to add in that distorted texture to get that type of style we saw working extremely well in etsy so as you are here one of the things i like to just add here is my custom size 5000 as you know by 5000 this allows the pixel count to be great for me to sell on and then i can actually add this to my project and then start redesigning that pre-made design to have that texture background all right so now we have our canvas here in kittle again we want to go ahead and upload our designs now kittle has a ton of different things you can add right here in the platform not only the pre-made designs we talked about you can add in your own text, add in your own elements if you want, add in some photos. And again, you can even use Kittle AI to redesign some products your own just by using some words. So again, they have a ton of things here for you to really gain some inspiration where you really honestly don't have to work from scratch, right? They make it extremely easy for you to go ahead and get started and start creating designs you know that are going to work well. Again, in our case today, we have a pre-made design that we want to utilize. So I definitely want to do that here. What I would do is I would go to upload again select whatever design i want to choose from my folder in my case today i have my design here ready to go and it is a mom retro shirt kind of the designs i showed you already in our particular example on etsy and it will upload my design to this canvas so i can start utilizing this for my distorted texture so here we are in kittle now i have this design 
upload it to my camera so I can start making some changes here. And the main change I want to add today is just that simple texture to this design. The way I do that is I go to the left hand side over to textures. Again, I will click on this and you will see a host of different options of the textures I can use for this design. Now you can go around and play with this as they have different patterns and again, grain textures, effects and paper textures. But what I like to do, just stick with this texture here because this gives me that overall style I want to look for. They do have 20 in total. Just go to all and again you just select one that you feel will work best for your product in our case today i want to go with this default one here because as you can see here it added our texture in and it really makes our design stand out extremely well again we came from just a basic design and now we have this little texture here that really makes this design distorted and stand out even more and will look extremely well on a t-shirt design now you have some options here on the right hand side in regards to how this texture will be affected on your design you have the opacity here where it is at 100%. You can dial this down if you don't want the, you know, texture to be as visible as I had in the beginning. And again, you can make your own arrangements here. But in our case today, I like to stick around 75% as this gives me a good texture design on the product that I am selling. And one of the main things I definitely want to talk about here is this new feature that has been added and it is called clip content. The reason why this is so important is because we definitely want the, you know, the, the texture to be on our design and not more so on our entire background. The reason for this, is that if I select a background and just make it red here, you would see that the texture has flooded our entire space of our canvas. And I don't want that because this will actually show up on my t-shirt and I definitely don't want that texture effect outside of my design. However, if you just click this button, you would then clip the content where the texture would just go around the design itself, as you see here, and not on the entire canvas. This is huge because again, we definitely don't want the entire space have that texture, right? Because only that space will be flooded with the texture. We definitely want the design itself to have that texture. So definitely make sure you clip the content so that the texture can be around your main design. And this goes along with any added elements I have to this project as well that I'm gonna share with you right now. If you go over to the left hand side, you will see this option to add in some elements right here in Kittle. In our case today, we want to stick with the overall theme with the retro style, but here you can add in whatever focus you want to add to search up their own elements. You can add in your own elements if you want, but in our case today, we definitely want to stick with what we have here with Kittle. Now, the purpose of me sharing with you this here is that Kittle also allows that distorted effect to go with any element you have on the design as well. Even things that we add in here with text or again, taking in some pictures from Kittle. It covers all of that to really make your design stand out even more and everything to be the same in regards to the texture that you add to your pre-made design and in our case with our element. So with that being said, I want to add in my element here, just as star. And I have my star here and you really can't see the burn effect or the distorted effect now because the inside of my star is black, but I definitely want to head over and change this out really quickly so you can see the difference in regards to the, the design. So if I go to the texture area and just clip it off in regards to the you know content being focused with our burn design, I go here and I change the inside of this color to be blue. Then you will see, okay, the burn effect is there or the distorted effect is there. Again, I have that over my main pre-made design and I have this over my element that I added in here, but we still have this problem with the distorted effect being around the entire canvas, which we don't want. But again, anything that shows on your canvas, if you just simply select this option on with the clip content, it will see that as a content that needs to be focused in regards to the effect. So that means whatever you add in here, either it's from Kittle or from your own text based designs, you add in Kittle or grabbing something outside of Kittle and upload it here. You will have that distorted effect on every single uh, design you have created here in Kittle. So again, the overall point here is that this really makes your design stand out. Again, I go back to my examples here that this burn effect or this, you know, I keep saying calling a burn effect, but this distorted effect really makes this design stand out. We already have the data here that proves that these designs are doing well, just not the basic design, but adding in that texture really makes this stand out and really attracts specific people who want to buy this type of product. And so again, jumping into Kittle, focusing on this design, 
focusing on adding this texture will really make your design stand out even more. So if you have everything dialed in with your design, you definitely want to get this ready to upload this to whatever print provider you have. So the way we do that here, we would title our project, which we will call this Mama Star. And again, we will go over to the download feature here. And one of the main things I want to do, because I do have my you know, background selected as red to share with you the example of the texture on and the texture off. So if you do have a background here, you definitely want to select this option, remove background. And then you definitely want to save this as a PNG as that is the perfect file type that will be utilized for your print providers. You can add this to your t-shirt design. So if everything looks good here, I can select PNG and then this will download everything over so I can utilize this with my print provider. So here we are with our final design that we made from Kiddo. As you see here, the texture design on our product really carried over well when we lay this on our mock-up image. And again, we know that this retro style t-shirt design is doing well, but adding in that extra texture with our design really makes our product stand out even more. Again, we can utilize the same texture design, just not with our pre-made design that we grabbed over from our other website. But as you can see here, adding in this element really made this stand out even well. And again, we can add in our own text-based design in Kittle and still bring over that distorted texture design for our overall product. So as you can see, utilizing Kittle is a great way for you to add in this feature to your designs and to really allow your entire product to stand out from the rest of the product scene on the Etsy marketplace. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually utilize all of the main features in Kittle for you to really have an amazing design. However, if you want to check out my full tutorial of how to use Kittle for your print demand business, then make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.